What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. I am actually going to do a cook with me today. I found this really cool watermelon salsa recipe on Facebook. It looks really good. So all you need is a seedless watermelon, a half a red onion, one jalapeno pepper, a half a cup of cilantro, one garlic clove, a juice of one lime, and a half a teaspoon of salt. So, so far, I have cut up my watermelon because it calls for two cups of watermelon and I just cut up my garlic clove. So, I'll show you what it looks like so, so far. So far, that's what it looks like. I'm about to cut up the cilantro. You need, I think it said a half a cup of this. So, I got like two of the small containers and then one big one because my stop and shop doesn't have any fresh ones and then I have to cut up a half of that and yes I'm wearing gloves because there's all you know and I'm not getting this on my skin because I don't want to touch anything of my body after cutting this up but this is going to be last so now I'm going to get back to cutting stuff up I know this is an odd angle, but this is how I have this right now. So, gonna cut up, just gonna cut this in half. This is very difficult. There we go. We'll do the smaller half, because it's already gonna be pretty spicy with the the jalapeno in it and stuff. Luckily, I still had these from when I worked at the lumber yard. So just peel off this first layer. Maybe if it wants to come off. All right, well, cut that. There we go. Once I cut the top part off, it worked. My eyes are already watering from this. And I think the ingredient, the recipe just says to like chop it finely and stuff. So I'll chop it up. I love this little knife, it's perfect. It gets it perfect. You can't see because of that. <laughs> so it's a little perfect little pieces. Now we chop it up even more. These gloves are a little bit big for me, but they work. Oop, I forgot that piece. And I am going to switch this into a time lapse so you guys aren't just sit here, sitting here watching me cut a red onion. Finished cutting up the onion. My eyes are burning from the smell of the onion. So this is what it looks like now. I didn't really chop it up finely. My eyes started burning like flipping crazy. So I gotta put the other onion half in a bag. I gotta put new gloves on. And then we're gonna cut the cilantro then the jalapeno, then the lime, and a little bit of salt. All right, so it says to cut up a half a cup of cilantro. I'm just gonna cut it up and just do what I think the stems are crazy. So it's like, I don't know. I might just put stems and all because it's just gonna be easier just to cut it up like this. You people can yell at me all you want online, but this is the way I'm gonna do it. Cilantro's good, no matter how you freaking cut it. I love cilantro. I make an amazing chicken taco in the crock pot and I use so much cilantro in that. It's just so good. 
There's so many stems everywhere. All right, so now we're gonna chop this baby up, little pieces. There's no stems in this little pile. There's like baby stems, but it's better than the big stems right here. I'm trying to cut this up in small pieces, but it just keeps sticking to the knife. Sorry, earthquake guys. I know this is just giving it flavor and stuff, so it doesn't really matter how it's cut up, but. All right, I think that's a little bit too much. So I kind of mixed it up a little bit. It just doesn't look the best. And I think I might have to add more watermelon because there's more of everything else than watermelon. I don't know why they said only two cups. It doesn't, it doesn't look the best. My cilantro cutting is not the greatest either. So I'm gonna add a little bit more watermelon and then hopefully it like works. Cause right now it just, I don't know, doesn't seem the best. So I'm gonna cut up a lot more watermelon. I got plenty, so. Chop this up. My hands are clean. I just washed them after I took my gloves off. Um, I'm just cutting this. I've, cut, I've cleaned the cutting board so there's nothing spicy on the cutting board. And then I'll put my gloves on when I cut up the jalapeno. I hope this is good. I don't know. Could have done way better, I think. I this. That's what happens when you try new recipes. You don't know how it's gonna be. You just kind of wing it and pray that it tastes good. A couple more pieces. I do cut watermelon and cubes and I do like the ice cream scoop method when you buy a big watermelon you cut it in half and then you use the water the ice cream scoopers to scoop it out I think that's fun I don't know why do you want to just eat squared watermelon or the half smile half moon slices i think the circles are fun i think it's a fun idea for children too they'll find it really cool like whoa my watermelon's a ball shape i don't know i think it's cool i'm gonna cut up one more since the, all the other stuff is like a lot and super chunky get it some good watermelon color and flavoring and stuff in it Oops, I lost some out of the bowl. I think that looks a little bit better. This cilantro is ridiculous. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't scared to cut this jalapeno. My friend did tell me how to cut it get the veins out and all the seeds, but I'm still scared. Let's see if I can do this. Because you don't want the veins or the seeds because that's what makes it spicier. So I'm gonna cut right here right here because there's no vein or seeds right there that's a vein that's a vein come on get all the way out vein all right so cut the veins out this part's gonna go over there for right now move 
all of that. I was tempted to just cut this in the sink and wash the seeds out of it, but this is a this is okay. So I got another green piece out. There's a lot of veins in this one. I've never seen so many veins in a jalapeno before. I mean, I've seen other people cut jalapenos, but I've never. There's a lot of flipping veins. And seeds. This is like crazy. I mean, like, you could put veins and seeds in stuff. It just makes it so much more spicy. Just cut this little vein out. A little tiny piece. Get the seeds off my hands. I need another cutting board because this one is covered in seeds and so am I. So I will be right back. Changed my gloves, got a new cutting board, rinsed off the other ones. Now I'm gonna cut this up. I love bell peppers. Those are my favorites. I've really never eaten too many jalapenos. Jalapenos scare me sometimes, even though like you took out the the vein and all that and stuff, I don't know, it's still still freaks me out because they could be like really spicy but i'm gonna cut these up into tiny little pieces so it's not gonna be like as bad so there's some little pieces. After I do this, I have to cut a lime and put that over this and a little salt. I contemplated putting my favorite seasoning on it but I think with the onion already and the jalapeno it would make it make it just too spicy I don't even know if my mom's even gonna try this um, I just hope it's good I mean seems like it will be but we'll see so I'm just gonna do this and then do all the other stuff. So I just cut up the jalapeno. Now I'm changing my gloves so I don't touch myself with that. And I'm gonna, if I can put this on, right? Cut up the lime. Juice this. This baby in here. I feel like this is gonna taste like so good. I think because of all the flavors, I don't think it will be as spicy because there's watermelon, there's cilantro, there's onion, jalapenos, there's going to be salt in it after I squeeze this lemon, or I mean the lime, I mean. So I think the... The, all the flavors will offset each other that it won't be too spicy. So, just squeezing this. Get it all out. I always, like, put my fingers in the inside and squeeze it. It gets all the juice out. Right, there's that. I'm going to take my gloves off so I can touch the salt shaker. A little bit of salt, maybe. Salt. 
then you mix it all together. I don't want to touch it with my hand, so I'm going to put another glove on. Whoopsies, lost a piece. Yeah, let's just try this a little bit of watermelon, see how it tastes. Wow, it's got a lot of flavor on it. It needs something. I'm not sure what. I mean, maybe, oh, there's a kick. I'm getting a little bit of a kick on that. There needs to be more flavor of something. It's pretty good. It's got some nice flavor. So, we eat some chips with it. Here, we'll try it. I'll get a chip. Got my Tostitos. Get a good sized chip. Nope, that's not a good one. This is a good chip. All right. See if I can get, like, everything on it. lost everything <laughs> all right so I got watermelon cilantro onion jalapeno and a piece of garlic let's see if I can get it in my mouth I'll put that piece back It's okay. I want to try something else. I'm going to get another chip. I'm going to put some of my seasoning that I want to put in this. I know mom won't like if I put the seasoning in it. Got my chip. This is the seasoning. I love this stuff. And it actually tastes pretty good on watermelon. So, let's see if I can get everything again. Piece of garlic in there. I get it. All right, and then I'm not gonna sprinkle that over that. So we'll sprinkle it over this. That gives it so much more flavor. It's so good. I also want to try mom's lime chips. That might be really good. So I'm going to try it without the seasoning on it first from the lime chip. Gives it a little bit of flavor. Try a little bit on Woo, that was close. Jeez. 
that was close. Mm. This makes it. It gives it incredible flavoring. So, I'm not gonna eat anymore. We have all other food to eat and stuff. So, hope you enjoyed this. Um, I will write in the description the measurements of everything if you guys wanna make it also. Sorry for eating and talking. So, catch you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. Peace.